Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Tech and Talk. So today we are going to create a console application which will be able to read uh, settings from a JSON file. Why it's important? Every time we connect to a database or we need to make sure that we are sending emails to the user and uh, for that you know case we need to give or provide from user details smtp server details and things like that so whenever there are configs involved we we, we need to add capability into the application to read uh, you know configurations from the file uh, and uh, app settings json is a new way to manage your settings in the json file previously we were managing in x1 we can do still do that we will be creating a separate episode for that one but for now let's see how in a c sharp console application we can read uh configs from uh you know json file into our c sharp application so let's get started uh, first of all what we need is we need a json file uh, yeah exactly so why not let's create one let me add new item and you should be able to see some json file here and you can name it uh, let's say app config for json let me add this one make sure it's empty and let's put your configuration here let's say i am managing the email service and i need to put some um you know email related configuration so i will add a name like email uh, service let's say email service and in email service config i will have an email let's name it for now abc dot uh, at the rate uh, dt dot com right and uh, let's say that email service has some smtp uh, server details abc.smtp.com and uh, lastly uh, it has some uh, let's say password as well so uh, i will add although it's not a good approach to write passwords uh, in the configs uh, but we can do if we are encrypting one so let's assume this is the encrypted version of our password right so we are going to read those three configuration under email service config in our today's application uh, let me jump back to the console application and let's start writing some code first of all we need we will need two packages right because we are reading the json uh, you know configuration first package will be for the json config and the second one would be the uh related to let me close the extra tabs second one will be related to the configuration binder package but let's go to the new get packages and let me write configuration dot and we should be able to see both the packages so first of all we need uh, dot json and secondly we will need the configuration dot binder right and let's go back to the application now let's create the binder object uh, where i will be bind my json config file configuration binder not binder this time first of all we need configuration builder and we will um set path uh that will be a dot mm, dot set path in the set base path yes. 
like this and the base part is the part from where we will start you know searching for the file so let's say um, we pass this to directory dot get and get the get the current directory of that executing application right we can just simply pass this one and uh, next we need the add json file right and we will be passing the name of the or oh, in our case the name of the file is app config dot json right and uh, it it will have us have a you know uh, another requirement as well which is about is that optional or not uh, i will i will uh, you know uh, give you the idea you know next you know exercise why we need that one maybe next or uh, one after next that uh, what are the use cases of this optional parameter uh, but let's uh, you know that one for now and we have binded our app config json file here with the configuration next line will be uh, i will be creating a configuration object like this configuration builder dot build and after that i will be start getting the values for that file so from that file so what will i say uh, email email settings is equal to config dot um configuration dot get section this way and i will be passing the name of the section which is email service okay email service and i will use get and i will pass the name of the class which will be you know receive those configuration as an you know a uh, value object so that is the why we we you know included that binder config binder package so before that let's create a class which we will uh, you know utilize in our um in our you know main method public class and let's assume its name is app not app config email service con 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 config something like that and next there will be an email there will be um password and there will be um smtp <coughs> right and i think we are good now so now we can pass that object here and the, the name of the class not object so email service config this way and we can close this like there and now whenever we you know we can use this object as you know as normal class objects uh, we can simply write console dot write line and by using the string interpolation we can say that um email is email settings dot email and not end smtp is email service email settings dot smtp and at the end we can say 
and the password is um, email settings dot password and it will not run right why why it will not run there's a catch here so let me just first show you that why i said that so uh you will you will got an error like the configuration file app config.json was not found or is not optional right so why it's not found because when now you create you know add a, a file explicitly in your you know um in your project you need to make sure that be careful to see this option there is an option copy to output directory you need to make sure it's not do not copy it should be copy always or if new right so let me just change that option and now let's run the application now you can see that email is this smtp is this and password is this but so this is how simply we can read config files from within our c sharp code in uh, console applications i hope this video will help you guys to uh, you know maintaining your config files of uh, your configuration in config files outside of your project because we don't want to rebuild our production you know releases just to change the configurations right and this is how the, this configuration works so this configuration should be in act you know separate file from where you just can change anytime right so in in coming videos we will also discuss i option pattern as well right so there is another way on the top of these configuration how we can manage those configuration inside application let's say uh we maintain the email in the config but now we want to change the email address but we want don't want to restart or close the running application right so there are a couple of options using i option pattern that we can implement to read out config files you know in different such scenarios right so we will you know discuss those scenarios in detail when we read all the config um you know options which are available in c sharp so that was all from this video hope you uh you get uh, you know uh, understanding of how configuration works in c sharp in case of any question or query do ask in the comments um, and we'll see you in the next video